Hello, Money.net Live. Uh, with me is Tyler Wood, the Managing Director of the CMT Association, that is the Chartered Market Technicians Association. And you have some exciting stuff to tell us, uh, Tyler. Big Beat, we are uh, in the final uh, final preparations for the largest investment conference we have ever held. This is the 50th anniversary of the association. And next week, we've got investors coming from around the globe. In fact, some of them are headed to the airport now to, uh, to be with us in New York City all of next week. And we're really excited about uh, some special guests, some big surprises, and uh, a, a truly milestone event for the whole community. And uh, Money.net has uh, some exciting information, too, as well, to, to, to tell everybody. We're actually going to be out there and one of the sponsors of the CMT Association. That's right. We're a small nonprofit, Big Beat. And without these uh, strategic partnerships, uh, we could never pull off such uh, such amazing events. So thank you. Thanks to Vinny. Thanks to the entire Money.net team for, uh, for being a big part of this year's event. This is going to be a, a celebration to remember for a lifetime. And let's get right to it. Uh, we're going to share that screen and we're going to show us some of the things that uh, the agenda has. I'm so excited about this. We are as well. Uh, so the theme of this year's conference is called Regime Shift. We're going to talk about the evolution of technical analysis. And as an organization uh, getting started in the late 1960s on Wall Street, a small group of sell-side equity research analysts came together and really stood up for the professionalism the discipline of technical analysis and to show the industry exactly what these tools and these concepts can do for investors of any size in any time frame, uh, but particularly for the institutional community. So we've got uh, a star studded lineup, uh, Stephen, we're going to have three days uh, to uh, to really get an understanding of what's going on in the markets some of the process and tools that these investors at the top of their game are using to stay on the right side of market trends. And then, of course, the uh, the third big takeaway is, uh, as we always do at our events, give people some ideas uh, for further research, things that they can take home with them and dig a little deeper. Oftentimes, uh, attendees of CMT conferences leave with a, a long list of readings, and uh, they take that home and, and workshop it, do some more back testing, revise their strategies, and, and really help us advance the discipline of technical analysis. So... Wednesday night. We're going to get together in Midtown at 360 Madison Avenue. We've got two floors of premium event space from ETC venues. And we've got our good friend Bob Pisani from CNBC, who's going to kick off a market discussion on Friday evening after a, a few cocktails and, uh, and a few hors d'oeuvres. We're going to talk with Craig Johnson, Mark Newton, and John Colovos about what they're seeing in the current markets. We're going to talk about gold. We're going to talk about equities. We're going to talk about sector allocation and some of the style changes as we see that rotation through the markets. I mean, right now we've got this bifurcated sort of barbell market where both growth equities and our defensive sectors are leading the S&P 500. We're going to explore some of those themes and some of the tools that these top research analysts are using in their toolkit every single day. Uh, we're going to let people break off for those client dinners and dinners with old friends at about seven o'clock. And then, of course, Thursday, April 27th, we're back in the same space in Midtown starting at 7 a.m. I know that's an early start, Stephen. So we're all going to be uh, adults about this on Wednesday night and, and keep it uh, keep it relaxed. But uh, I'm very excited to announce that the opening address for our 50th anniversary will be presided by a gentleman named Robert J. Farrell. Is the first president of the CMT Association, also a chief strategist for Merrill Lynch for 50 years. Uh, had a great phone call with him this morning. He's very excited to be here with us. He's going to be in a fireside chat with Frank Teixeira, talking about the professionalism that they brought to the discipline, some of the macroeconomic forces that they were looking at, a lot of the data that they were crunching even before computers. Yes, we are talking about the evolution of technical analysis, uh, but also some evergreen takeaways that still apply to markets today. We're gonna break into interactive sessions. So for everybody who's at the event, we'll, we'll get together in one room at the beginning, middle and end of each day. But the most, uh, the majority of the content is gonna be presented in these interactive sessions. So we've got Martin Pring, Katie Stockton, Richard Brath. We've got Mark Derrett come down from Canada. All of these interactive sessions are gonna dive deep in a workshop environment, a lot of interactivity between the audience and the speakers uh, in each of these sessions. And, and Stephen, I gotta tell you, at CMT events over the past, what I've been so surprised by is that everyone in the audience, sitting in the front row, taking notes, uh, learning from those speakers, have been speakers themselves before. 
So John Bollinger is there. He, he, you would think he already knows everything that he could possibly learn about the markets, but he indeed and many others will be right there in the front row taking notes and, uh, and being a part, not just as speakers, but also the audience. We've got Bob Prechter coming to talk to us a little bit about uh, the, the behavioral side of markets, Matthew Verdow about quantitative strategies, John Kozar about building models for sector rotation and risk management, Javed Mirza talking to us about, you know, it is a bull market after all. <laughs> We're going to take some morning breaks. We're going to come back with Mark Dibble from Fidelity Investments, joined by Frank Capillary of Cap Thesis. They're going to talk a little bit about that relationship between sell side and buy side. And I think for some of our attendees, what one of the big takeaways is just understanding how they can be more effective in their role, wherever that is, whether they're an institutional trader, research analyst, a portfolio manager, client advisor, you name it. We've got lots of guests coming from around the world. Uh, Dimitri Speck and Taya Marotovic, uh, some of the most highly decorated uh, commodities and seasonality experts in Europe are going to be joining us here in the United States for uh, the 50th anniversary as well as Ken Tower and Steve Malinsky talking about model building and the quantitative approach uh, that their firm has gone through from point and figure charting back in the early days, all the way to uh, factor building uh, in investment models. We're gonna have Glenn Williams from Coindesk do a little deep dive on institutional allocation in the digital asset space. Again, uh, every meal, every networking break uh, is a chance to uh, meet old friends and find some new ones. There's a lot of professional networking throughout the three days. Uh, we are going to have the legend, Jerry Parker, one of the original turtle traders who learned under Richard Dennis in conversation with my good friend and colleague, David Lundgren. Uh, we host a monthly podcast called Fill the Gap, and that's going to be filmed live at the conference. We're going to talk about the tenets of trend following and then break to another interactive session uh, with John Bollinger, JC Peretz, Gautam Shah, who's coming all the way over from India, another highly decorated analyst uh, worldwide for his research as well as Peter Eliades, who's going to talk about Hearst cycles and the VIX index and what uh, signals we can take away from that during bear markets. Some really incredible research uh, that's been done in that space. And then we're going to wrap up our first day with Ned Davis and his chief economist, Alejandra Grindal. Uh, they're going to explore some of NDR's approach to uh, fusion investing. And that's the idea of combining both fundamental and technical data together to get a, a more complete picture of what we're investing in. From there, we're going to grab everybody and uh, jump on some buses, take them right down to the New York Stock Exchange, where we will celebrate on the trading floor of this historic building uh, and celebrate the 50th anniversary of the CMT Association. We've got several special honorees with us, uh, including Tom DeMarc, who won the CMT's annual award for his lifetime achievements in market timing and technical research. And then, of course, we're going to be back Friday morning, early as could be, a uh, nice breakfast spread, help everybody get back into uh, the zone. And we're going to start with a global macro panel. Nikos Panagirtsoglu is coming over from JP Morgan's London office, joined by Urian Timmer, head of global asset allocation at Fidelity Investments, and Gina Martin-Adams, chief global equity strategist for Bloomberg. They're all going to be moderated by Michael Regan, uh, senior editor at Bloomberg. And, and that dynamic panel, Stephen, I know it's early, it's 9 a.m., it's a Friday morning, but I want to encourage everybody to, uh, to make sure you dust off that suit, get back to the conference, and uh, don't miss a minute of these expert speakers. Uh, we're going to break into more interactive sessions. Andreas Klenau, systematic trend-following investor, CTA money manager from Zurich, uh, as well as Connie Brown, who wrote some of the seminal work in using oscillators within trending markets. She's going to break that down for all of us in a workshop format where we can take those tools and apply them to our own process. John Gagliardi from Fidelity Investments talking about some of the models that they've built uh, uh, for clients as well. And then we're going to have a great session on building a career in technical analysis. Joining us is Marianne Bartels, Katie Stockton, and Louise Yamada. They'll be moderated by Abigail Doolittle, also of Bloomberg News, talking about how you can apply technical analysis in many different roles. So whether that's wealth management or institutional research, or even developing models that can be driven into ETF products. Uh, that's gonna be a very dynamic panel, as well as Julius de Kempener, who is gonna to talk to us about relative rotation graphs. Stephen, if you haven't seen these charts, it is a, uh, it's probably the most significant advancement in data visualization, seeing the market move in real time on a relative strength basis. That's gonna be a phenomenal session as well as our good friend, Brian Shannon, 
talking about the Anchored VWAP. He's got a new book that just came out. Uh, this is cutting edge research and a tool that I've seen a lot of investors uh, be able to incorporate into their discipline. Really excited to see Brian's session as well. Uh, we'll have another uh, a lunch on Friday. We're going to make that a working lunch, meaning we're going to grab everybody and bring them back into our main auditorium on the fourth floor, where we're going to present a few awards. Uh, we have a winner, Andrew Thrasher, of the Charles H. Dow competition this year, 2023. This is actually Andrew's second win. He is a very prolific author of technical research. He's driving uh, what is our mission to advance the discipline. Uh, his paper, The 5% Canary, went through a very rigorous, double-blind, peer-reviewed process, along with many other fantastic works from the community. Uh, we're going to honor Andrew Thrasher and learn a little bit more about his paper. And then, of course, as we do each year, uh, we need to recognize those that we have lost along the way. Doug Ramsey is going to join us uh, from the Luthold Group in, in Minnesota. He'll be out to uh, honor Stephen Luthold, who passed away just recently. And we'll talk a little bit about his legacy to the industry, as well as Larry Laturza and Jim Dines and some others. Uh, we do have a service award going to Ken Tower for his incredible work on the CMT program. So separate from all these events, Stephen, uh, as an organization, we stand for the credentialing and the professionalism of technical analysts. Ken Tower spent years as the, the head of the Curriculum and Test Development Committee and really gave a, a ton of his time, blood, sweat and tears, if you will, to, uh, to making that program what it is today. Then we're going to come back uh, to another live broadcast, uh, The Final Bar, with our good friend David Keller. He's going to be joined by the legends of technical analysis, Ralph Akampura and Luis Yamada. We're going to talk about what's happening in current markets, some of the sec secular shifts that are happening in terms of interest rate uh, um, uh, dynamics. And for Luis and Ralph, these are some of the folks who actually remember trading through a stagflation or a rising inflation environment in the 1970s. And I'm sure for many bond traders out there, this is a new territory, right? It's, it's been 40 years since we were in this environment, and we're going to have a lot of lessons to learn from those folks as well. Wrapping out the afternoon on Friday, Tim Hayes from Ned Davis Research is going to talk about the weight of the evidence and their approach to global investing and allocation as well as Paul Siena. So this is not just an equities conference. Paul is the chief FIC strategist, fixed income currencies and commodities uh, for Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Uh, Paul's gonna join us and talk a little bit about what he's seeing in the currency environment, how that's gonna impact our investing landscape through the rest of the year. And my dear friends, George Shade, Karen Benefiel, and Ralph will talk a little bit about their production of the 50 year history of markets and this association. We published a hardcover book, Stephen, Everyone coming to the conference is going to get a copy. Uh, you can definitely have those authors and some of these experts sign your book while you are at the conference. And then as we're coming to the close of Friday, Peter Borish, co-founder of Tudor Investments with Paul Tudor Jones. He's going to talk about some of the trading traps and the lessons that they've learned together and separately uh, throughout their careers. Uh, Peter Borish is just a tremendous investor, a very quantitative mind, uh, but uh, he has a lot to share with this audience. And to close out the 50th anniversary of the CMT Association, our dear friend Tom DeMarc, winner of the CMT Annual Award for his lifetime achievements, he's going to be joined by his good friend Larry Williams in a fireside chat to close out this conference and talk a little bit about some of the indicators that he has developed over the last 40 plus years. Uh, many of his clients are going to join us at the event on Friday afternoon, and we're going to learn a lot from, uh, from Tom and Larry before we close out the conference with one more final networking and cocktail hour. And that will wrap up perhaps the busiest three days of my life, Stephen. <laughs> you know, honestly, uh, Tyler, let's be real honest. I mean, this is the brain trust of all the squiggly lines that are on our charts um, coming together in one full place. And, um, you know, it's more than the meeting of the minds. This is the situation here is where the minds get to talk amongst the minds. And actually, I mean, the just the yeah. sheer amount of knowledge is going to be kicked out on this, uh, this association's 50th anniversary is just a plethora. I mean, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like. I'm looking forward to it so much um that uh when we when we were looked at and asked about being a, a, a sponsor i was jumped at this uh so fast that i couldn't even hold my breath against i was like yes we're doing this yes so <laughs> uh you know i i think that 
50 years of anything in this world is a long time, but for in, to have this quality of an association and the quality of people that are amongst it um, is just uh, an achievement in and of itself, plus the achievements of all the people that are within it. Um, you just gotta, you gotta pat yourself on the back a little bit there, uh, Tyler. You know, uh, we, we have a, uh, we have a saying inside of the CMT association that no good deed goes unpunished. It's a very small nonprofit. And let me tell you, Stephen, for 50 years, the volunteers and the stewards of technical analysis that have led this organization, they have put in so many hours, so many long nights, so much tremendous effort, uh, really to help the entire community, all charter holders around the world and investors writ large to understand how they can improve their process, how they can separate themselves from the emotional pitfalls of investing and be more objective in their approach. After all, uh, price is the, the final arbiter of, uh, of what's happening in the markets. And so we need to make sure that uh, we understand how to use these tools responsibly. Um, I can't thank the volunteers, the board of directors, and all of these speakers for uh, just coming together. You know, it's a, it's a tremendous team effort. And uh, we're really looking forward to a dynamic three days and meeting a lot of new folks. We've, uh, we've got record attendance, a lot of people who are coming for the very first time who may not be uh, deeply embedded with the CMT Association. Uh, three days later, they're going to be uh, lifelong uh, <laughs> members and stewards of this, uh, this fantastic organization. I'm really glad money.net is going to be there with us, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Well, New York, here we come. <laughs> Absolutely, Stephen. It's going to be a great time. Lots of professional networking. Uh, make sure you drink a lot of water, get some good sleep, take your vitamins. We want everybody in top health uh, before we all uh, convene in Midtown Manhattan on Wednesday evening at five o'clock, uh, right on Madison Avenue and 45th Street. All right, Tyler, until next week, I'll see you there. Sounds great. Thanks, Stephen.